Chapters 1 through 5 of the Book of the Acts of the Apostles from the American Bible Union's New Testament. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Mark Penfold. Chapters 1 through 5 of the Book of the Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 1 the former narration i made o theophilus concerning all things that jesus began both to do and to teach until the day he was taken up after he had given commandment through the holy spirit to the apostles whom he chose to whom also he showed himself living after he had suffered by many infallible proofs during forty days appearing to them and speaking the things concerning the kingdom of god and being assembled together with them he commanded them not to depart from jerusalem but to wait for the promise of the father which ye heard from me for john indeed immersed in water but ye shall be immersed in the holy spirit not many days hence they therefore having come together asked him saying lord wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to israel and he said to them it is not yours to know times or seasons which the father appointed by his own authority but ye shall receive power when the holy spirit is come upon you and ye shall be my witnesses both in jerusalem and in all judea and samaria and unto the utmost part of the earth and having spoken these things while they beheld he was borne up and a cloud received him out of their sight and while they were looking intently into heaven as he went behold two men stood by them in white apparel who also said men of galilee why stand ye looking into heaven this jesus who was taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye saw him going into heaven then they returned to jerusalem from the mount called olivet which is near jerusalem a sabbath day's journey and when they came in they went up into the upper room where were abiding both peter and james and john and andrew philip and thomas bartholomew and matthew james the son of alphaeus and simon zelotes and judas the brother of james these all continued with one accord in prayer with women and mary the mother of jesus and his brothers and in those days peter stood up in the midst of the brethren and said the number of names together was about a hundred and twenty men brethren it was necessary that the scripture should be fulfilled which the holy spirit by the mouth of david spoke before concerning judas who became guide to those who took jesus because he was numbered with us and obtained the office of this ministry now this man purchased a field with the wages of iniquity and falling headlong he burst asunder in the midst and all his bowels gushed out and it became known to all who dwell at jerusalem so that the field was called in their own tongue akeldama that is field of blood for it is written in the book of psalms let his habitation be made desolate and let no one dwell therein and let another take his office therefore of these men who accompanied us all the time that the lord jesus went in and out among us beginning from john's immersion unto the day when he was taken up from us must one be made a witness with us of his resurrection and they appointed two joseph called barsabbas who was surnamed justice and matthias and they prayed saying thou lord who knowest the hearts of all show which of these two thou didst choose that he may take part in this ministry and apostleship from which judas by transgression fell away that he might go to his own place and they gave their lots and the lot fell upon matthias and he was numbered with the eleven apostles chapter two and when the day of pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound out of heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appeared to them tongues as of fire distributed among them and it sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the holy spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance now there were dwelling in jerusalem jews devout men from every nation under heaven and this being noised abroad the multitude came together and were confounded because every man heard them speak in his own language 
and all were amazed and wondered saying one to another behold are not all these who speak galileans and how do we hear every man in our own tongue wherein we were born parthians and medes and elamites and those who inhabit mesopotamia judea and cappadocia pontus and asia phrygia and pamphylia egypt and the parts of libya about cyrene and strangers of rome both jews and proselytes cretes and arabians hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of god and all were amazed and were in doubt saying one to another what may this mean but others mocking said ha, they are filled with sweet wine but peter standing up with the eleven lifted up his voice and said to them men of judea and all that dwell in jerusalem be this known to you and hearken to my words for these are not drunken as ye suppose for it is the third hour of the day but this is what was spoken through the prophet joel and it shall be in the last days saith god that i will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams and even on my servants and on my handmaids i will pour out of my spirit in those days and they shall prophesy and i will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the lord shall come and it shall be that every one who shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved men of israel hear these words jesus the nazarene a man accredited to you from god by miracles and wonders and signs which god wrought by him in the midst of you as ye yourselves know this man delivered up according to the established counsel and foreknowledge of god ye slew crucifying him by the hand of lawless ones whom god raised up having loosed the pains of death because it was not possible that he should be held by it for david says concerning him i saw the lord always before me because he is on my right hand that i should not be moved for this my heart rejoiced and my tongue exalted moreover also my flesh shall rest in hope because thou wilt not abandon my soul to the underworld nor wilt thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption thou didst make known to me the ways of life thou wilt make me full of joy with thy presence men brethren i may speak freely to you of the patriarch david that he both died and was buried and his sepulchre is among us unto this day being a prophet therefore and knowing that god swore to him with an oath that of the fruit of his loins one should sit on his throne he foreseeing spoke of the resurrection of the christ that neither was his soul abandoned to the underworld nor did his flesh see corruption this jesus god raised up whereof we are all witnesses being therefore exalted to the right hand of god and having received from the father the promise of the holy spirit he poured forth this which ye now see and hear for david did not ascend into heaven but he says himself the lord said to my lord sit on my right hand until i make thy foes thy footstool therefore let all the house of israel know assuredly that god made him this jesus whom ye crucified both lord and christ and hearing this they were pierced to the heart and said to peter and the rest of the apostles men brethren what shall we do and peter said to them repent and be each of you immersed upon the name of jesus christ unto remission of sins and ye shall receive the gift of the holy spirit for the promise is to you and to your children and to all those afar off as many as the lord our god shall have called and with many other words did he bear witness and exhort saying save yourselves from this perverse generation they therefore having received his word were immersed and on that day there were added about three thousand souls and they were constantly attending on the teaching of the apostles and the distribution and the breaking of bread and prayers and fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were wrought through the apostles and all that believed were together and had all things common and sold their possessions and goods and divided them among all as any one had need and daily attending with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house they partook of food with gladness and singleness of heart praising god and having favor with all the people and the lord added to the church daily those who are saved chapter three 
and peter and john were going up together into the temple at the hour of prayer being the ninth hour and a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried along whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple the one called beautiful to ask alms of those entering into the temple who seeing peter and john about to go into the temple asked alms and peter looking intently upon him with john said look upon us and he gave heed to them expecting to receive something from them and peter said silver and gold have i none but what i have that i give thee in the name of jesus christ the nazarene rise up and walk and seizing him by the right hand he raised him up and immediately his feet and ankles received strength and leaping forth he stood and walked and entered with them into the temple walking and leaping and praising god and all the people saw him walking and praising god and they recognized him that this was he who sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple and they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened to him and as he held fast to peter and john all the people ran together to them in the porch that is called solomon's greatly wondering and peter seeing it answered to the people men of israel why wonder ye at this or why look ye so intently on us as though by our own power or godliness we had made this man to walk the god of abraham and of isaac and of jacob the god of our fathers glorified his servant jesus whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of pilate when he decided to release him but ye denied the holy and just and demanded that a murderer should be granted to you but the author of life ye killed whom god raised from the dead whereof we are witnesses and his name upon the faith in his name made this man strong whom ye see and know and the faith which is through him gave him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all and now brethren i know that ye acted in ignorance as also your rulers but thus god fulfilled what he before announced by the mouth of all his prophets that the christ should suffer repent therefore and turn that your sins may be blotted out in order that the times of refreshing may come from the presence of the lord and that he may send forth jesus christ before appointed for you whom the heavens indeed must receive until the times of the restoration of all things which god spoke of by the mouth of all his holy prophets from the beginning moses said a prophet will the lord your god raise up to you of your brethren like unto me him shall ye hear in all things whatever he shall say to you and it shall be that every soul that will not hear that prophet shall be utterly destroyed from among the people and also all the prophets from samuel both he and they who followed as many as spoke also foretold these days ye are sons of the prophets and of the covenant which god made with our fathers saying to abraham and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed unto you first god having raised up his servant jesus sent him to bless you in turning away every one of you from your iniquities chapter four and while they were speaking to the people the priests and the captain of the temple and the sadducees came upon them being indignant because they taught the people and announced in jesus the resurrection from the dead and they laid hands on them and put them in prison unto the morrow for it was now evening but many of those who heard the word believed and the number of the men became about five thousand and it came to pass on the morrow that their rulers and elders and scribes and annas the high priest and caiaphas and john and alexander and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together unto jerusalem and having set them in the midst they asked by what power or by what name did ye do this then peter filled with the holy spirit said to them rulers of the people and elders of israel if we are this day examined in respect to a good deed done to an impotent man by what means this person has been made whole be it known to you all and to all the people of israel that by the name of jesus christ the nazarene whom ye crucified whom god raised from the dead by him does this man stand here before you whole he is the stone that was set at naught by you the builders which is become the head of the corner and there is salvation in no other for neither is there any other name under heaven that is given among men in which we must be saved 
and seeing the boldness of peter and john and perceiving that they were unlearned and obscure men they wondered and they recognized them that they were with jesus and beholding the man who had been healed standing with them they had nothing to say against it but having commanded them to go aside out of the council they conferred among themselves saying what shall we do to these men for that a notorious miracle has been done by them is manifest to all that dwell in jerusalem and we are not able to deny it but that it spread no further among the people let us strictly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this name and having called them they commanded them not to speak at all nor teach in the name of jesus but peter and john answering said to them whether it is right in the sight of god to hearken to you rather than to god judge ye for we cannot but speak the things which we saw and heard and they having further threatened them let them go finding no way to punish them on account of the people because all glorified god for that which was done for the man was above forty years old on whom this sign of the healing had been wrought and being dismissed they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders said to them and they hearing it lifted up their voice to god with one accord and said lord thou art he who made heaven and earth and the sea and all things in them who by the mouth of thy servant david said why did the heathen rage and the peoples imagine vain things the kings of the earth stood near and the rulers assembled together against the lord and against his christ for in truth there assembled in this city against thy holy servant jesus whom thou didst anoint both herod and pontius pilate with the gentiles and the peoples of israel to do whatever thy hand and thy counsel before determined to be done and now lord behold their threatenings and grant to thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word by stretching forth thy hand for healing and that signs and wonders may be wrought through the name of thy holy servant jesus and when they had prayed the place was shaken where they were assembled and they were all filled with the holy spirit and they spoke the word of god with boldness and the multitude of those who believed were of one heart and of one soul and not one said that aught of the things which he possessed was his own but they had all things common and with great power the apostles gave the testimony to the resurrection of the lord jesus and great grace was upon them all for there was no one among them that lacked for as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the prices of the things sold and laid them at the feet of the apostles and distribution was made to each one according as he had need and joseph who by the apostles was surnamed barnabas which is interpreted son of consolation a levite born in cyprus having land sold it and brought the money and laid it at the feet of the apostles chapter five but a certain man named ananias with sapphira his wife sold a possession and kept back part of the price his wife also being aware of it and brought a certain part and laid it at the feet of the apostles but peter said ananias why did satan fill thy heart that thou shouldst lie to the holy spirit and keep back part of the price of the land while it remained was it not thine own and after it was sold was it not in thine own power why didst thou conceive this thing in thy heart thou didst not lie to men but to god and ananias hearing these words fell down and expired and great fear came on all that heard these things and the young men arose wrapped him up and carried him out and buried him and it was about the space of three hours after when his wife not knowing what was done came in and peter answered her tell me whether ye sold the land for so much and she said yes for so much and peter said to her why is it that ye agreed together to tempt the spirit of the lord behold the feet of those who buried thy husband are at the door and shall carry thee out and immediately she fell at his feet and expired and coming in the young men found her dead and carried her forth and buried her by her husband and great fear came upon all the church and upon all that heard these things and by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people and they were all with one accord in solomon's porch 
but of the rest no one dared to join himself to them but the people honored them and still more were believers added to the lord multitudes both of men and women so that along the streets they brought forth the sick and laid them on beds and pallets that as peter was passing the shadow at least might overshadow some one of them and the multitude also of the cities around came together to jerusalem bringing sick persons and those who were vexed by unclean spirits and they were all healed but the high priest rose up and all that were with him which is the sect of the sadducees and were filled with indignation and laid their hands on the apostles and put them in the public prison but an angel of the lord by night opened the prison doors and having brought them forth he said go stand and speak in the temple to the people all the words of this life and hearing it they went into the temple at early dawn and taught and the high priest came and they that were with him and called the council together and all the eldership of the children of israel and sent to the prison to have them brought but the officers when they came found them not in the prison and returning they reported saying the prison indeed we found shut with all security and the keepers standing without before the doors but when we opened them we found no one within and when the priest and the captain of the temple and the chief priests heard these things they were at a loss concerning them to what this might grow but one came and told them saying behold the men whom ye put in the prison are in the temple standing and teaching the people then went the captain with the officers and brought them not with violence for they feared the people that they might not be stoned and having brought them they set them before the council and the high priest asked them saying did we not strictly command you not to teach in this name and behold ye have filled jerusalem with your teaching and intend to bring this man's blood upon us and peter answering and the apostles said we ought to obey god rather than men the god of our fathers raised up jesus whom ye slew hanging him on a tree him as a prince and a savior did god exalt to his right hand to give repentance to israel and remission of sins and we are his witnesses of these things and the holy spirit also which god gave to those who obey him and they hearing it were convulsed with rage and took counsel to slay them but there stood up one in the council a pharisee named gamaliel a teacher of the law honored by all the people and commanded to put the men forth a little while and said to them men of israel take heed to yourselves what ye are about to do in respect to these men for before these days arose theudas boasting himself to be somebody to whom a number of men about four hundred joined themselves who was slain and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught after this man arose judas the galilean in the days of the registering and drew away much people after him he also perished and all as many as obeyed him were dispersed and now i say to you refrain from these men and let them alone for if this counsel or this work be of men it will come to naught but if it is of god ye cannot overthrow them lest haply ye be found also fighting against god and to him they assented and having called the apostles they scourged them and commanded them not to speak in the name of jesus and let them go they therefore went rejoicing from the presence of the council because for that name they were counted worthy to suffer shame and every day in the temple and from house to house they ceased not to teach and to publish the glad tidings of jesus the christ the end of chapters one through five of the book of the acts of the apostles from the american bible union's new testament recording by mark penfold